look, y'all. Amanda the nurse. Amanda. Get off her face. Huh? Get off her face. Why? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Crack it. What's up, y'all? So today we're gonna be test fitting some RPF1 wheels. My boy Sean from the previous videos, back when I did my catch can install, he had some wheels that he's gonna put on his car when it's done. They're 16 by I think seven or eight RPF ones. They got tire letters on them, so I'm gonna mount them on my car to see how it look in case I wanna you know throw RPF ones on them, which I'm planning on doing this year. So we're gonna see how the car looks with them. So hopefully you guys will be amazed too. Cause I think it's gonna look sick. So we're gonna see. These are gonna go right here. I'm only gonna mount two wheels cause I don't feel like going through the house. So I'm losing our daylight. You guys probably can't see it. But the daylight's going down and I just wanna get these on to see how it looks like. So let's do it. Yo, that looks sick. I need tire letters. <laughs> Yo, that looks really good. Yeah, for real. Oh my god, I need tire letters. I think that's the next. <laughs> that's the next thing I need. Now, if you have one, even like what? This looks good, dude. What do you guys think? How'd that look? That look good, dude. Locks turned down. Yo! So now we have Randy's house. About to mount my net on the right way. We well, put the things right here. So we got it. So not on the window net the right way. You got to buy those little things and then go to your local. Right. Those little things. <laughs> little key rings. And then you got to go to Lowe's or Home Depot and get this little wire stuff. We're going to walk you through the whole process. So pretty cool video, I guess. I don't know. Maybe if you guys want to do it. Where's my car? In the road. That's just a nice shirt, man. Look at that shirt. Wow. Link in the description box below. How you cut your hand, Randla? Oh, what's up guys so it's the next day and today we're gonna mount the net on and I'm gonna teach you guys how to do it first so you see this this is my freaking brain cover window seal thing whatever now the net is supposed to go right on top of this and then this covers it so you can mount it with the door now I didn't have my mounted on the door so now I'm gonna have it mounted on the door I called my man Kev he told me how to do it so today we're gonna do it so if you got a window net or you want a window net and you don't know how to install it properly then this video should help you so first you want to buy some wire this is like 16 gauge wire it's in a bolt out section at Home Depot I'll probably link the part number down below then you want to get some uh, wire cutters and some pliers so you can bend the shit the way you want it to bend I guess on it to how you want it I'm gonna teach you guys how to bend it well not teach you how to bend it but I'm gonna teach you where to bend it and stuff like that so yeah it's supposed to bend like this and then it hooks on this little ledge right here. If you have an Integra, there's a little ledge right here. And that's where it hooks. And I got to do it to all of them. So let me do that real quick. And I should be up with the net mounted properly. Okay, so after like 60 years, I finally got it, man. So this is what you got to do. I mean, I don't have the best representation, but... You just gotta get some wire and then bend it to hook on this little ledge thing. And then you just put your window sill back on. And then you get some bungee cord from Home Depot or any other parts store that carry cord, I guess, whatever. And then you just mount it on the bottom of the door, which I'm gonna do in a second. But yeah, I finally got it to go with the door. Doesn't that look so much better? It looks so much better. Jeez. Someone buy my wheels, 500 bucks with tires. Come get them. South Florida. So this is how it should look when you're done doing the top stuff. I mean, it's not gonna look perfect. Mine looks like shit, but you really won't notice it. I mean, you might notice it, but I mean, it's whatever. It looks pretty damn cool if you ask me. 
But yeah, that's how you pretty much do that part of it. Now you're gonna do the bottom part where you gotta put the wire and stuff in. But yeah, it looks pretty good. What do you guys think? Do 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 do. Hmm. Let's open the door. Oh, <gasps> what? That was cringe. But my bad, yo. But look, yo, it's in. I mean, this is kind of like pretty hanky danky but you know i'm not you know an expert but i think that looked pretty cool but look though opens with the door now if you want to do it if you have a window net you want it like this then hopefully this video helps i mean you gotta get some bungee cord from walmart and then buy these little things these like what a dollar i don't know if it'll be focused but it's like a dollar for these little things when you get like 16 or 10 in a pack or whatever and you just buy like the cord now i got a freaking unclip it from here every time i want to get out the car i could do just Boom! What do you guys think, man? I know you guys don't roast me. So she only making a hundred and some horsepower. Why you got a window net? You don't even have a cage. Look, man. I just want to look cool. You know what I'm saying? It looks like a race car if you ask me. Imagine the RPF ones with the tire letters. Oh man, that looks so sick, dude. Not every day you see a black man driving a Porsche. Pretty sick. Do a pull. If you real, you do a pull. No pull? Wow, what a sucker. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you can, leave a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, dislike it. Uh, see you guys Wednesday with a nice car review. Uh, my first time driving a 2J, so be on the lookout for that video. Um, key tags are still available. Link in the description box below. Marauder t-shirts are still available. Go in the link down below for those shirts as well. And yeah, that's my little quick little plug. Follow me on my social media if you ain't got shit else to do. And um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace. Subscribe to my channel. Be alright.